You know, parking can be such a nightmare here in the Bay Area. We've all done it, circled around and around, getting more and more frustrated. We're also wasting time and money. But the author of a new book says he can park anywhere within minutes. NBC Bay Area's Lisa Bernard put him to the test. It's really at a breaking point. This parking is impossible. You got so many truck zones. It's an endless dance of cars and trucks that flow to the rhythm of shifting gears and blinking lights. We circle around a few times to be able to, uh, to find the spot. It's estimated that at any given moment, one third of drivers in downtown San Francisco are looking for a place to park. And if they do find a spot, there's yet another obstacle to overcome. I hate parking tickets. Last year, the city of San Francisco issued almost 2 million parking tickets, resulting in nearly $100 million in fines. You get a parking ticket to remind you that you shouldn't be there and you shouldn't do it again. The Department of Parking and Traffic is a formidable opponent. And in the game of parking, David Labua considers himself an expert. In fact, Labua wrote the book on parking. Finding the sweet spot. After 10 years of living in this city, Labua estimates he spent 520 hours looking for parking and wondered... Why is it so frustrating? Why is it so hard? Is it really that hard? Labua says it's not hard. In fact, he says it should never take more than a few minutes to find parking anywhere. We didn't believe him, so we put him to the test to see how fast he could find parking in some of the busiest neighborhoods. First stop, North Beach. You can come to North Beach and have lunch and... Uh, you should plan 30 seconds to find a parking place there. And we did, in front of a strip club, but still a respectable place to park, a loading zone not enforced until after 5 p.m. It's now 12 p.m., so we can park here. Totally gold. Down on Mission and Stewart, a line of cars were waiting for valet, and a few others were double parked. But we just went around them. There we go, financial district. 12 p.m., what that take us? 30 seconds and found a perfectly legit spot in a yellow zone. The trick is to find an empty spot that people have avoided for an obvious reason. Either it's a yellow zone or a white zone. In this case, a tow-away zone. But take a closer look at the sign. The restriction is from 7 to 11 a.m. And right now, this is a perfectly acceptable spot. They're literally everywhere. Um, they're just hidden in plain sight. Like this row of secret spots right on Bluxom Street, just blocks from AT&T Park, where you can park all day for free, even on game days. Yeah, and if you just cruise up and down, uh, there's one. The most common citation is for street sweeping, which makes up for more than a third of the parking tickets issued in San Francisco last year. Labua says during street cleaning hours, you can park your car on the sidewalk. It's not a written rule, but he says it works. DPT will not give you a ticket because they know it's tough to find uh, a parking place on street sweeping day. But DPT says don't count on it. It's a risk you take. Uh, so it's fundamentally not legal to park on the sidewalk at any time. To park for two hours, you'll need 24 quarters or 60 dimes unless you have one of these. And put it right into the meter. The smart parking card is a prepaid card. And I'll never get a ticket for not having change ever again. So no more whining. Uh, they've got to open up some other public parking. No more excuses. We leave a lot of times because we can't find parking in that area. Just know how to play the game and parking won't ever be a problem again. Parking karma. Uh, some people seem to have it, some people don't. In San Francisco, Lisa Bernard, NBC Bay Area News. And to get the list of the secret sweet spots broken down by neighborhood, well, you have to buy the book. You can do that at Labua's website, findingthesweetspot.com. Hmm, very interesting. All right, John Farley. What sweet spot do you have for us? Oh, sweet. What a beautiful day for parking as well or doing anything else. That was a pretty cool uh, discussion there that guy had.